Hi, Justin here with IFD. I want to take a few minutes today and we're going to talk about the IFD sensor, what it is, what it does for you, and then we're going to take a few minutes at the end for a couple tips and tricks. But before we do that, let me just run a little bit of video for you so you get a quick overview of the product in a nice clean way. When a fault occurs, there is a sudden increase in tank pressure and gases collect in and above the oil. A fault can produce several types of gases that when mixed in particular proportions can become explosive. The explosion seen here is an example of one of the hazards line workers may face when re-energizing transformers that have an internal fault. To reduce risk, utilities have developed thorough but time-consuming procedures. Unfortunately, these procedures are not always followed because of the urgency to restore power quickly. To identify faulted transformers and enhance line worker safety, IFD Corporation developed the Internal Fault Detector, or IFD. The IFD sensor is a mechanical device requiring no electrical connections. The IFD provides line crews with the reliable information they need when troubleshooting distribution transformers. The benefits are, it's faster and safer for line crews to restore power, improve network reliability and customer service, extend asset life, avoid environmental damage, and create a safer job environment. An IFD-equipped transformer with a highly visible orange flag displayed must be taken out of service and replaced. If the fuse cutout is open but the IFD is not activated, the chances are the transformer is okay to be re-energized, providing all normal fault checks are done. Nothing can be considered 100% when it comes to safety. The IFD serves a dual purpose, as a fault detector and as a pressure relief valve, or PRV. During hot days or heavy loads, the transformer will heat up and the pressure inside the transformer tank will gradually increase. If the pressure inside the transformer reaches the PRV activation level, the PRV opens, allowing air to escape. It closes when the pressure is reduced. The IFD PRV can also be operated manually, just like other transformer pressure relief valves. Installing IFD-equipped transformers is almost identical to other transformers. The only difference in the process is the removing of the shipping lock once the transformer is mounted. Note, the shipping lock must be in place when transporting or handling a transformer with an IFD installed. And we're back. I'm going to take a few minutes now to go through some tips and tricks for using the IFD and spend a bit of time talking about the shipping lock and its function. But before we get there, you're probably wondering, what's this white tag hanging around back here? Well, what that is, is a training document that's going to remind you of a few things about the IFD, its function, and if you're looking for more detail, there's even a website down in the bottom corner here, and it's www.ifdcorporation.com slash lineman. That's a spot just for you guys, so check it out if you're interested. And uh, what you can do with this is, after you've removed the shipping lock, once the transformer's mounted to the pole, of course, you can take this guy off, have a quick look, and maybe give it to the new guy who's on the truck with you. And before we move on here, let's just take a few minutes to look at this in a bit more detail. That way you know what's there, so when it shows up, you know what you're looking at. That's enough of that. Let's talk a bit about the shipping lock now, which is this orange guy right here. What the shipping lock does is it prevents the IFD from activating in transit and before you get the transformer mounted on, say, the pole or the pad. The benefit there is you can go over some speed bumps or say you're lifting the transformer up and you bounce it off the pole a couple of times. Not that you guys would do that. And it just prevents it from activating if oil splashes up and hits that diaphragm. The risk you run is if you don't have the shipping lock on and you do those kind of things and say you're even going down a rough dirt road, if oil splashes up and hits the diaphragm, it's going to lift up and the IFD is going to pop out. And then when you get to site, it's, it's a real pain in the butt because what are you going to do now? 
So when you actually have the shipping lock installed, you can do those sorts of things and not run the risk of the IFD activating. That's because the diaphragm can bounce up and down as much as it wants until you get it mounted. And then once it's mounted, everything's going to be pretty safe and static. So you can take it off and know that your IFD is going to detect that internal fault should it happen down the road. Well, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to put the website up for you one more time right here, www.ifdcorporation.com slash lineman. And once again, this is Justin. Thanks for watching.